Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. Another day God has created for us. It's not uh, light out yet. It's very early in the morning, but I want you to just hang in there. This is not the end of your story, no matter how bad things look in life right now. This is not the final chapter of your life. I want you to know that no matter where you are watching me right now, no matter where you are in life, no matter how low you have sunk, no matter how bleak your situation might look, this, my friends, is not the end. This is not the end of your story. This is not the final chapter of your life. Things will get better if you just hang in there for a better tomorrow. I know it may be hard right now, but if you just hang in there, stick it out, Friends, stay with me for a little while and, and just listen to these encouraging words. You will do better tomorrow. You will find that this tough moment will pass. And if you're committed to using this pain, using it to build your character, finding a greater meaning for the pain, you will find that in time you can turn your life around and help others going through the same struggles that you are going through succeed and become better the world right now my friends is in the middle of a mental health crisis it's estimated almost half of the population in the world suffer from depression at some stage throughout their life and if you're one of them hang in there rather than join the queue it's important we just uh, we uh, learn why we get down and then how we can change it because believe it or not we create our own negative feelings and we can also ensure that we turn our lives around and be a positive change for other people around us. Hang in there, my friends. The reason anyone gets depressed always comes down to the consistent thoughts that we think and the consistent beliefs we hold. Let me say that again. The reason anyone gets depressed always comes down to the consistent thoughts we think and the consistent beliefs we hold to our minds. If I believe I'm fat, horrible, and unworthy of love, I will most likely become depressed or have depression thoughts. If my thought process is I must be in a relationship and earn X amount to be happy, I might get depression if I don't achieve those goals because you have set those goals to be crazy high. You see, the point here for this video is that anyone that is depressed is so because there is an external factor that didn't materialize in their life. They have lost something outside of their control or don't have something that is out of their control. The most common reasons for depression are possibly a lost job, relationship breakdown, or non-existence, body image, comparison to others. Hang in there for a better tomorrow. The only way out of this is to work on yourself each and every day. In school, we are taught how to get a job, but no one teaches us how to live in a state of happiness. It's not taught to us. No one teaches us how important our conscious and unconscious thoughts and uh, associations are really. Is our happiness not worth more than a job? Of course it is. And before you say happiness won't pay my bills, my friends, happiness will pay your bills. When you realize you will uh, uh, be 10 times more energized, focus and talk positive, uh, uh, and take positive actions in your life, when you first choose to develop yourself as a priority and then get to all the stuff of the world, I've seen some people who many would consider to have it all end their life because they thought they were not good enough. A thought, a belief within them told them they were not worthy. These people that many were jealous of, many envious of, were not good enough. You must value yourself enough to take the time every single day to work on you. To engage in something that will ensure you are a positive influence on the world. 
This, of course, doesn't mean life will suddenly be perfect, because it's not. The same life challenges will show up, but if your mind is strong, if your mind is at peace, your reaction to the challenging times will be very different. Your reaction will be, how can I make this work, not why is this happening to me? And then others will look at to you, not with pity, but with hope, because your strength will become their hope, their strength. My book, Struggles Became My Strength, says it all. You really can be that powerful. You can ditch the victim story. You can leave the pain behind and focus on how you will react next. How will you react positive? Folks, get your mind in a positive place starting this morning. Take steps to ensure you will be a better person tomorrow in a better position next time. Whatever the pain you're suffering, how can you ensure it won't show up again? Take little steps is the only way to do that and start thinking differently and soon you will be at the top of the staircase. So please, don't give up because I'm telling you, you are worthy. You are more than worthy. You deserve to experience how great life can be and you owe it to the world to be that positive change for others. I want you to inspire others who will look to you and say, he or she did it, and I can do it as well. Be that example. So I'm asking you one more time. I'm telling you, don't give up. You are worthy. You are more than worthy to be sitting there saying, today is the new day. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to a stranger can help that stranger and can change your day and your life. Don't hang. Uh, don't give up. Hang in there and say to yourself that you, my friends, are worthy. You are worthy for a better today. You are worthy for a better tomorrow. I want you to be the change you want to see in others. I want you to show others that your struggles, my friend, your struggles have become your strength. And tell, uh, don't, uh, I, I know a lot of people you, uh, saying to you, uh, saying to, to yourselves, well, how is this possible? Because I have done it, and so can you. I've been down in the worst places in